say, I'd say Kerry feel that uh, they have a team there that's going to be around for the next decade. Like, oh, absolutely. It looks yeah. like it looks like the rivalry that these two are going to have is real. Kerry are worthy rivals for the next half decade at least, and, uh, and if Cork can add them, then we're never going to see a five in a row again. So yeah, there's, no. there was a lot of history. Yeah, yeah, Munster's going to be f fantastic. Um, let's talk a little bit about Kerry's setup here. So yeah. and uh, some of the stuff that they did that actually caused them um, some concerns. Uh, was there anything that Kerry did that we were kind of a bit surprised about? Uh, not a whole pile. Like I mean, the press that they put, I suppose they they really went after Cluxton and they went after the kick out. They they observed obviously from the Mayo situation, um, the second half when Dublin really squeezed Mayo. That was the winning of the game. You know, there was that kind of ten minute period where they went right. You know, we're going to go. We're going to get. I think they won six of the seven kickouts, and they just blitzed them. You know, so that was it. So, you know, to try and obviously do the exact same to them, they yeah. went okay. We're just going to squeeze right up on you, and we're going to make you either have to throw, go really long, or if you're going to go into pockets of space, we're going to go and get those players. Um, and that's what they did. It's funny, you know, they they. Like it, it's a very simple thing, but if, if you say this is Cluxton kicking out the ball, like they essentially just moved everyone basically up the field. They had a kind of a situation where you know, that's essentially the way the kind of the thing was set up, and they nearly had everyone picked up, you know. And they said, okay, you know, where do you want to find your space here? Like I mean, and Cluxton was quite often trying to have to, you know, to go into the pockets of space here. What he, what he actually essentially did at times was, this, this half forward, let's say if it was Scully, would vacate this area, and he would go around the back like this, and essentially he would either double back into it, or this, this half forward would come in, from over here, and try and, and try and pick up some kickouts. Now where they got the most joy was, they identified that Gavin White was on this side, a smaller player. And Cluxton went long out to his left. And at one stage, Rock actually came, this is one we referenced to, he came all the way from the corner and picked up a big catch here, right over two or three players. Jack Barry was kind of in this area and he was trying to get across to White. And if you actually see the two big catches, Howard is the one that comes across, picks off the kick, and then you have McCaffrey and the guys streaming down the middle. And once you get out past that press... There's nothing there. There's nothing there, because this centre forward vacates the area, so he either pulls the six with him, or the six has to stay, and now you have an extra guy here, so you're running down in threes, and these guys will just clear the space. So essentially, you just create the, the whole right to the goal. Yeah, that's there's, essentially what there's a behind the goals image on screen that we're looking at there as well, so uh, this is from one of Cluxton's kickouts, and you can see that everybody, this is actually for the goal. Um, so who's the, who's the hand pointing to? That's Jack McCaffrey. Yeah. So that's uh, where McCaffrey starts from the kick out for his goal. It's quite quite a lung busting run. Correct. And, my, and so if you if you if you trade your eyes up past that, that's essentially where the kick out lands into that cluster of guys there. So McCaffrey, as he's winning it, as as Howard wins it, McCaffrey is coming off his shoulder and just never stops the run. And and the speed at which he goes, like it was essentially two hand passes. There was a hand pass from Howard in to Kilkenny, I think, and Kilkenny just pops the hand pass over into McCaffrey's and then bang, goal. Yeah. You know, so it just shows you from one end of the field to the next with two hand passes and a kick out. And how important your kick out strategy is, because that's the bit where you can actually create space. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're in somewhat of control of the alignment. After that, play breaks down, and it, there's, there's too much randomness. There's too much randomness, is right. Well, like, I mean, it's always the people that say, you know, control the controllables, and you're talking about that sideline balls, free kicks, and then essentially kick outs. Are the, are the best place to try to apply pressure. Kerry on the other side, Kerry do, or Dublin do this thing where they bring four in. So they kind of match you in four here. So this is a Kerry kick out now. So this is a Kerry kick out, yeah. So Dublin will say, okay, one, two, three, four. So they'll say, okay, essentially we're not going to give you the short here. Or if you do, you're going to be under serious pressure to, to, to get that ball. Then what they do is, once they bring in that guy, they bring someone in, which was funnily McCaffrey, came into this space. So he kind of comes in around the six, so he's marking that central area, obviously his, his, his agility helps him. Yeah, it, it makes sense too, because it means you're not putting him up against the big midfielders. Correct. You have taller men back there, so you may as well not put him in one of those battles. Absolutely. But his speed for a breaking ball is going to help. Helps. Kerry had it worked out well, because what often sometimes teams do is, Whoever McCaffrey leaves free, you know, he kind of comes into this area as well, or he'll try to come over here. But actually what they did was they put Gavin White essentially kind of in behind the midfield. And what Kerry did was they put three or four 
guys very close. They had Jack Barry close, they had David Moran close, and they had Spillane in a little small cluster to create space both left and right. And the funny thing was, they weren't actually running into the space. What they were trying to do was to get Gavin White into the space. And essentially then what the Kerry keeper was, was he was kicking out to Gavin White into the area because McCaffrey was here. Right. And twice they nearly got it. There was one where he drills this lovely low kick out and Gavin White comes in here. Now essentially two, two Dublin players come in to converge on him and he should, have, he should have grabbed it, he didn't. And the same happened the far side. They then also had another kick out which nearly worked, which was there was two lines, if you get me. You have your, you have your Dublin players essentially like this and you have two lines, Dublin here, Dublin here, and then you've got another line there, and, he, and, and, and uh, Ryan put the kick, the kick out in between the lines. So Spillane came out like this and tried to get it, and if you remember, it went out over the sideline, but it's actually the perfect kick out, because what you're doing is, the two Dublin players are going, well, is that me or is that you? Who yeah. goes for it here? And you put it in between, and uh, they nearly got it. But, like, I mean, Dublin are past masters at it as well. Once the game opened up, they were able to get some, and obviously with the extra man, they were able to get the kickouts away a lot easier. Yeah. The, the carry attack, how were they creating space? Oh, just, well, you had this situation happen where you had White obviously down the field, you had Stephen O'Brien dropping very, very deep, you know, and running from deep. You had O'Shea pulling really far out with McCarthy. You know, he was trying to create the space, and then you had Clifford and Ganey. And what often happened was the two of them would start pretty close, Ganey would head out here, but Clifford actually remained inside a lot. So he was really your last ball. And actually, it's funny, in the warm-up, they did a couple of things in the warm-up where he was inside on his own. You had three men out here passing, and then they'd look to get the ball into him. Yeah. So they were really working on this. And Dublin put no one in here for help. Yeah. So this is why, you know, you talk about pressure on Cooper. That's what Cooper was looking at at one stage. It's not great, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> From that's, a fullback that's, that's situation. The Got it. Well, the penalty comes because Kerry come down this side, uh, and whatever it is, I think it was a sideline ball or else a free, and they just put it in. But they did try to get that a number of times before. Um, and essentially, when it's you Gady. have that space... Put it in. Again, put it says, in, yeah. But essentially, when you have that space, obviously, you know, that's the type of pressure you're, you're going to have. But... So, surely... You, you perfected the sweeper system and then they, they kind of got to the point where everybody knew the sweeper system so well that anybody can play it was what we thought in the build-up to the game. You know, like it was almost like a zonal sweeper system. Whoever is back, it's your job to, to yeah. do it. But we know when Keanu Sullivan was in the team, that was his role. So do you not just play Keanu Sullivan there now? So Keanu Sullivan goes in here and you say, OK, that's now your job. So if he comes out here, we still have cover, right? You know, you can, you can shift left and right. If yeah. the ball comes in here, you can double up. You can do whatever needs to be done. The problem is, is Kerry are so adept and they're such good forwards is what Kerry will essentially do is they'll create space for this man to get the ball. And he will turn and they will run right at Keno Sullivan. Yeah. Or what they should do is they say, no, no, we're not going to leave you free. We're going to deploy a man right beside you. And he will constantly stay with you. And he'll actually drag you out of the play. So if, if in, in, in my vision of this, you're putting Keanu Sullivan in and you're taking Niall Scully out, right? Okay. Maybe they don't do that because obviously they, they feel like Scully's... When he's, when he's playing well, his job is to fetch and, and bring the ball from defence to attack and yeah. to make runs to, to yeah. create space. To do all that kind of stuff that, uh, that Keanu Sullivan won't do. So you, you are sacrificing because you've just conceded 116 and it should have been 222 or it should have been... 319 like yeah. they, they should have conceded much more they got they got away with a bit um so suddenly you don't like is the left half back going to follow Keanu Sullivan down he's not they're going to decide you know they're not going to shuffle around and suddenly have seven forwards i don't think Kerry yeah no, they're not. But Certainly, the indications are they won't because they didn't when they had well, the they opportunity no, to us. No, but but but, but they'll be like. Do, I think the worst thing about playing Kerry is is to actually play uh, a sweeper system, because what you're saying is we're going to allow you get the ball here, and you have kickers, and you have guys who are so good at kicking and passing the ball that they'll outpass the sweeper. They'll pass the ball left and right of him, and they'll t essentially take him out. Like one of the things in football you're always told to do is, if you've got two guys inside here and you've got the sweeper, this man just comes up and picks the sweeper. So essentially you hit him with two Dublin players and one Kerry guy. Yeah. But his job is, essentially, is just to take you away from the area and still create the space inside. Now what happens is then is confusion reigns, because 
This guy goes, as the ball is, say, diagonally put across, it's like, well, is the sweeper meant to go? Are you meant to go? You're the man marker. Now, Dublin do have it down, as you say. And, 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 and O'Sullivan, is, he patrols this, basically, like a, like a, like a cross. He control, patrols that area. But I think if they're able to kick as well as they are, Kerry, and kick early, that it, it kind of negates him. So, you're saying... I'm saying Dublin have to go man to man too. Then leave Johnny Cooper one on one back there with Clifford again? I wouldn't have Cooper in there, no. Fitzsimons? It's either Fitzsimons or McCarthy for me. Right. I'm more than likely Fitzsimons. See, the thing of, like, there is this thing about you have to practice high balls into the square and diagonal balls. You really do. Like, there really only was one or two yesterday. Like, so it's either from a free situation, you know, where you see the fellas putting their hand up, and Dublin have done it a number of yeah, times. Yeah, they did it yesterday it. with O'Callaghan. Yeah. You know, they isolated O'Callaghan inside. I can't remember who was behind him, but I think there it was, was actually two. There was two on him at that stage. Yeah. Yeah. And they just put it in, and he was strong enough to hold off. Yeah. So you don't get that many instances of it, right? Like, you go back to. Kieran Kieran Donahue's days, uh, and there was loads of balls being put in. You know, they really because David Moore did do one when when Tommy Welsh came on. They actually, Tommy Welsh came on. They had the opportunity to do it a bit more, and he got one. And uh, yes. yeah, so but it's quite a difficult thing to it. do. You know, uh, because essentially it's nearly like a shot on goal. You know, um, yeah. but it is quite a difficult, and it's even it's even a difficult enough task to actually uh, skill to actually have. Sometimes it goes out over the end line. Sometimes it drops short. Yeah. So it is quite tricky to nail it. So. You know, do you say, well, actually, Fitzsimons, I'm not going to worry about it, because Fitzsimons is a big enough guy. You know, he's not he's not five foot seven. No. You know, no, so he's, he's going to be able to match well up against Very Cooper. experienced, yeah. very capable. Um, and I think you give Cooper a job, because I, th- I don't think he'll drop him. Because for that, he'll, he'll, that, that kind of means blame. And I don't, think he'll, I don't think, I think he'll say, oh, you were hard done by, and I still trust you, and you still have pace, yeah. and you still, mm. you're still everything I want. So I think he'll, 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 he'll bring him out and he'll put him, on, he'll put him on someone else. He could put him on, well, I think Small had a good enough day on O'Brien. So, you know, he might say to himself, well, the thing is, do Kerry change? Do Kerry bring in Spillane? From the start? Well, does Gavin White come under pressure? Maybe. Does Tommy Watts come in? Not from the start, no. No? No. Why not? Like, he looked fit. Uh, it's yeah. lean. He yeah. like he's ready for it. Yeah, 20 minutes ago, that's when you want to bring him in, I really think. You know, cause maximum pressure on a tiring, on a tiring back line. There was one last thing that we noticed. Um, we were kind of to the left of the press box, but up very high as well, with, I'd say, there could have been 70 minutes on the clock um, after, after the substitutions had been made. Uh, Clifford was out around here, or maybe even back here. Uh, <coughs> Conor Callaghan was picking him up. I was like, what the hell has happened in the world? Conor Callaghan is back there, Dublin are chasing the game. And eventually he kind of started to run forward, but it was like he was leaving Clifford unmarked. Yeah. I don't know how it happened. It was like just yeah. this kind of weird little minute. And it was for, but they were stood there side by side. Like, well, there's the future of getting football right, like, <laughs> right there, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just a nice little moment. Yeah. Well, at one stage, I think at the end, but he was picking him up. Like, Clifton was, was actually out marking Tommy Walsh. At one stage, so Dublin had completely because, like, to be fair to Dublin, when they put that squeeze on in the last seven or eight minutes, it was the high like, act. It, like it was like this. Yeah, that's the amount of players. And instead of Kerry just getting it and trying to kick over it to someone, they, they tried to run through it. Yeah, and they got turned over like five, six, seven, whatever, three or yeah. four times. All right. Good stuff. I hope everybody enjoyed our tactics board there this morning. It is 8.42 uh, this Monday morning. We're talking rugby next on OTVM with Alan Quinlan.